It's your boy Superman 2000 coming from the fight mobile. Hang on one second. Let me clean this camera off. Here we go. That's better. Don't worry. I'm not pulling a John Jones. I just used my shirt. I didn't put the camera in my junk. All right. So now I'm going to talk about Tough 24 last night. That, that was sweet. But there's three things I've always wondered. Actually, four. Uh, uh, number four was the Electoral College, which I've finally figured out the math behind it, so that's good. Uh, number three, the Star Wars movie, Rogue One. No, she's supposed to, her mission is to get the design plans for the Death Star. But remember, when the confrontation happened, and Dark Vader brought Luke Skywalker to the Emperor. What did he say? He said, are you expecting... So you know, here he said, he said, the generator shields will be... I'm afraid the generator shields will be fully functional when your friends arrive. It was my design when I released the plans to you. All of it has been by my design that you are here. So Emperor Palpatine already leaked the plan. So the Rogue One mission uh, makes no sense. There we go. That's number three. Number two. Okay. I'm not a pervert, but I've always wondered this. Those hula girls, right, that dance. How come you can see the belly button, you can see the hips, but how come those little tiny grass skirts don't fall off? What is holding them up? Now, I know I'm going to probably need some counseling and prayers for saying that. But I, I'm just wondering about that. And number one, Demetrius Johnson, one of the most dominant champions in the UFC. But he gets absolutely no props. I mean, this guy... I don't know if the fans are the UFC not pushing is the UFC not pushing him hard enough. This guy works like a he's a smaller version of Frankie Edgar mixed with GSP with a touch of Daniel Comier. But he gets no props. Zero props. In fact, they didn't even respect the man, man enough. To make his fight a, 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 a pay-per-view fight. Now, <coughs> not doing Dana White's job for him. But if it was me, I'd have moved that Demetrius Johnson fight. Johnson Elliott fight over to the 206 card. And then add the interim spiciness to that with the... Pettis, Max Holloway. And that, that would have been sweet, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Now, last night, I updated my UFC fight picking. But after the break, I had Demetrius Johnson winning it because he's a champ and because he's tough. But Elliot really impressed me. I'm like, oh my goodness. Demetrius Johnson had to pull one, pull, pull the, 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 uh, the popular phrase now, lay and pray. Uh, 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 Daniel come here. He, he, he had to lay on on him and submit to the, p p put all his submission moves and really display the full range of his skills to you know to, to say hey I'm dominant here I'm the man but Demetrius Johnson pulled it off I'm very impressed but what that showed me is that hey that guy Elliot he needs to move up to a, a heavier weight division I know what you're saying for his career to take off and as explosive and dynamic as he is, if he stays in that division that Demetrius Johnson is in, and he wins the belt, he might wind up being a victim of the same thing. No promotion, no support. But if he moves up to where Jose Aldo, Max Holloway, and Anthony Pettis is, hey, he's got it made. Think about it. He's going to have it made. <coughs> that explosiveness is going to kick in. Fans will love that. That division gets more hype, more market. Demetrius Johnson is one of the most underrated champions of all times. 
Now, I gotta cut the video short because apparently I'm sick. I may have walking pneumonia or what's that thing called? I forgot the name of it. It starts with a T. So I've tried my home remedies. Whiskey wrapped up in a blanket to sweat it out. Followed by a couple of Heinekens wrapped up in a blanket to sweat it out. That hasn't worked. So this morning, I'm headed in to the emergency room. Let's see what they said. But in the meantime, as since I'm obsessed with fights, I'm going to keep talking. I'm excited. Conor McGregor got his boxing license. One of my subscribers. And I'm going to put his name in the title. Clearly said, hey, listen, man. Check this out. Conor McGregor isn't saying nothing. He just relaxing. Going about his business, and all he's gonna do is simply get his boxing license. And guess what? He, as a boxer, he's gonna be covered under the Muhammad Ali Act. So he's gonna be protected. He's gonna get his fair share. Smart move. And while I'm doing the video, guess what? I, I woke up this morning at a flat tire, so I had to break up my small pump. If you're a family man and you got a wife, you need to get you just one of these things. Hang on one second. Uh, I'm still low, still low on air, so I, I can keep talking before it fills up. If you're a family man and your wife has a car, uh, slowly kind of like that, get one of these little pumps that can fill your, your tire up. So, Conor McGregor, I like his style. He's not going about it the way the fight, other fighters are going about it with the union. Now, I that could be a bit, some people, some people say, hey, that's a bit soft, he's the, he, can, he can just stand up united with the other fighters. But he's like, you know what? It's all cool. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to be about it. I'm just going to do my thing. Get the protection I need to get. And um, when I'm my money and you don't pay up, we'll see you in court. It's all, He learned his lesson the last time about how Dana White personality works. If you go hype and you put the word out, Dana... The egomaniac is going to feel challenged. Then he's going to have to respond vigorously. Okay. GSP came out and made an announcement about the fighters union. I can tell you. You'll never see GSP back in the UFC again. And every time his name come up. Dana White will always say. Oh GSP doesn't have the heart. He's not interested. He wants too much. Blah blah blah. And he'll skirt around the real issue. And talk bad about GSP and said GSP not interested. He doesn't have the heart. He doesn't really want to get back into fighting. He'll keep doing that. It's, just, it's a vindictive. It's a vindictive thing with Dana White. That's just how it works. When you're making good money for him, it's all cool. But if you talk out of turn, you, you're gonna get some get a spanking. That's just that's how, that's how it works. So I'm pretty sure Colin America is like, okay, I see how this thing is gonna work. I'm not gonna telegraph anything I'm doing. To the UFC. I'm just gonna just do what, do my thing and get my, my legal protection. And that and, and that's how it's gonna go down. Sorry the video is so long guys, but I'm excited and I'm pumped <coughs> even though my voice is going. But that tough last night was man that was exciting. That division deserves some more props man. Real way more props. that was like whoa that was a real display of martial arts and skill and uh, uh, man, I, I hope Demetrius Johnson at some point get his respect. But at the same time, I gotta say this though: Elliot put the work in. Really impressed me. At one point, I thought Demetrius Johnson was was scared. <laughs> so yeah, he, he put the work in. All right, guys, that's my two cents from the fight chair. I'm not trying to make the video too long. Cause I don't want to bore you. All right, peace out.